Uh, as you know, John, this is, uh, we're in the middle of Diwali, Diwali, uh, or Diwali, depending how Indian you are. And uh, I sent out my annual Happy Diwali card to the Indian Festival of Lights. And a friend of mine who I hadn't talked to for a couple of years immediately returned with her card. And uh, she, uh, as it turns out, she is arguably India's number one uh, mentalist, uh, female magician. I've known her. I, actually, I met her when she was 12 years old. She came, I, I did a concert in the uh, Indira Gandhi Stadium there, and somehow she weaseled through all the, the security. And the next thing I know, there's this little girl, 12 year old girl backstage. And uh, she, she already was doing magic and she showed me her stuff. And so became friends with her and her family. And I've, I've known her now forever, for 23 years, something like that. So anyway, um, uh, her name is Kruti. Uh, and she uh, returned the Diwali card. We started talking. I said, come on, uh, do something for us that is not only Indian, but related to the festival. So without any further ado, let's play this brief little promo for my friend, Kruti. Oh, and she's a doctor. So there you go. Check it out. Welcome from, I believe, Mumbai. Mumbai, I think Mumbai, India. My friend Kruti, right here. Yay! Hey, Kruti. How are you doing, Franz? You're all dressed up. What What time is it for you right now? It's the middle of the night right now. Oh, well, it's about 7.30ish, so it's like early morning, but I think it's good. Oh, that's painful. Thank you for being a part of our show. Thank you for giving an international flavor to our show here. By the way, I'm watching uh, the promo that we just played. There's a lot to unpack there. You are the first test tube baby Indian test tube kid. Is that that's right? That's right. And I like that you put that into your into your resume, even though you had nothing to do with it, because it happened exactly. before you were born. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, obviously, like you mentioned, that I have it's not really my achievement, but yes, I am a part of history, so I'm very happy to mention that. So, as I was saying in my intro, when I met you, you were this little 12 year old girl, and now you're a freaking doctor. A doctor of what? And how did that happen? So, I did my doctorate in entertainment and humanities, and um, I had to actually. Uh, the kind of magic also that I was doing, I wanted to give it a different flavor. And what I specialized in is how to create uh, unique acts with the help of magic, uh, giving it a different dimension. So uh, no matter what topic you come to me with, I'm able to design that uh, with magic. So whether it's um, uh, like a destination marketing thing or whether it's any concept based stuff uh, like I've actually embedded magic with Indian grand Indian weddings any concept that you give me I'm able to kind of weave it obviously the flavor being magic so that's what my entire thing was based on and along with that it was also on uh, how to work with people you know like working on psychology working on psychological effects etc so I think that's where my mentalism also came into play for me you know I've spoken to so many magicians about taking magic and not just treating it as a craft and just copying what what a thousand people before you have done but looking at it as an art form that can be used to communicate some sort of a message or to drive forward the human experience and and everything that you're talking about is literally that i mean it's 
that's such a big thing to wake up and realize that with magic, you've got the power to say so much, not only about who you are, but your feelings, thoughts, and you know, reflection on our world. Uh, I, I think it's amazing. Is, is there a little piece of advice that you could give to you know, magicians starting out right now on how to take magic and, and look at it as, as a medium and then ultimately figure out how to make a living at that? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I'd like to say is that this one thing which I had actually seen with you also, and you know, while I was on um, IMS India's Magic Star, we've had a conversation at that particular point of time also, and I remember this very clearly. You had also mentioned that uh, magic is an art form, yes, but you should have more interests too. So if you if you are a person who has interest into dancing, so I know you are really fond of dancing and you know you do the break dancing stuff on stage and all when you when you're performing. So if you are able to, yes, yes, I see the moves. So uh, when you are able to use different mediums and collaborate it with your magic, it's going to create a new flavor for yourself. Like even today, uh, whatever magic that I would be performing is completely new in the, in terms of from the props to how I'm executing it, what medium I'm using onto it. And it's completely fresh. And that's what makes you different from the lot. Like there could be a lot of magicians doing the standard tricks and the standard props which are available in the market. But if you can put in your identity into it, it just becomes something different and you're able to communicate, make magic your language. Don't make it just like a show or don't just go and say, oh, so-and-so magician is performing this act. Let me also do the same act because it's a hit act. It's okay. Make your own act. And that is going to make a hell lot of a difference when you're performing your magic. So I have actually, uh, I'll just give you a few examples. Like I've taken a mentalist show and made it into a destination marketing show where uh, everything is about the destination. I have taken uh, magic and I have made a magical theatrical, uh, which is based on the Indian folk music and the great Indian weddings collaborated together with magic concepts, live sound design, like a proper production and performed it for like, uh, to just give you an example, it's been performed on a 160 feet stage with a live audience and in open air. So. For the people who understand uh, a little bit on the magic front, so the, the UV light acts that happen generally indoors with complete, um, you know, uh, control okay. lighting and stuff. I've actually done it open air in uh, with a live audience. So, you know, working on these aspects was only possible when I was able to think magic is my language and how technically I can create this for my audience. Right. Right. Now, you mentioned that you may have something you can show us. I'd like to bring back John uh, and even Tom. Is Tom there? Has Tom left the building? Uh, to be your audience, hopefully you can show us something right here. Now, in the States and talking to somebody in India and Canada and wonderful. So I'm, I'm going to start with my stuff. Is uh, Diwali is a festival of diyas and I have two diyas and just an empty block right here. All I'm going to do is take this dia with the the cotton and just say happy Diwali and we have the dia lighting up. The same way we take the other dia and all we're going to do is say happy Diwali and as we say happy Diwali, the dia itself is going to be lighting up right here. And we have nothing. This is the most production value we've had so far. Very cool. That's great. We're wishing everyone happy Diwali because Diwali is a festival of uh, coming out from darkness to light. It's about the win of the good over the evil. And that is what is represented with this magic. Right, right. There we go. Here we are. So this we is go. another one which is about Diwali. So I have this blank piece of paper right here. And I'm just going to be folding it up. And let me tell you what Diwali is all. Diwali celebrations are all about the three gods that you see here, which is uh, the goddess Lakshmi. Then you have, which actually talks about 
the three gods of uh, Diwali that we pray to. And this specially, this goddess is called goddess of money, which is Lakshmi. And when we pray to her, we say, uh, Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu, Lakshmi Rupena Sanskrita, Namastase, 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 Namo Namaha. And we actually say this. What she does is she blesses us with this special uh, pot. And this pot contains a lot of money. Is what she blesses us. So this is the way we actually bring in the new year with a lot of blessings and a lot of money. And uh, we say that let us get in this new year, which also happens to be the Indian New Year according to the Hindu calendar, to get us a lot of wealth, prosperity, and happiness. Very good. Thanks. All right. Hey, Tom. Well, we have to keep replaying that saying, though, Franz. We have to rewind and keep playing that. Yeah, and then the money. That would be good. That's All right. Yeah. I just want to know where Delta Trudy lives, and I'm going to go to her place because she's got gold family. That's right. <laughs> it's a bit of a boat. <laughs>